Wow. Hey guys, I'm Dash Berlin, and you're watching Next Shark TV. Uh, as you know, uh, you just finished a show at uh, the Marquee a couple days ago. Um, what do you like best about performing at Marquee? Marquee, it's in Vegas, and Vegas is where it's all at at the moment. I mean, uh, it's definitely the EDM hotspot on the map right now, and uh, where everybody comes together, and where the the crowd is always fresh. Uh, and, and combined with the dashers coming to the shows, it's a unique atmosphere where, and that's, you can only find that in Vegas. And combined with the entertainment and the decorations and the amount of production we have on the shows here, they make it super, super nice. You know, speaking um, of your struggles, I mean, um, as you mentioned, I mean, every artist has like a point of struggle before like, you know, they have their big break. I mean, can you tell a little bit more about your struggles? I mean, you lost your job and you're trying to find new ones. I mean, explain that kind of process and that feeling of just trying to, you know, make it and for that big break. Well, it, it was the end of the days of vinyl and that's where I started out with uh, DJing. So it was quite weird to me to see that happening with the whole, uh, electronic dance music family growing more and more, uh, things getting more and more electronic, and it, 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 more stuff happening on the internet, and um, it's 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 weird when you see that fading away while something else is really growing, and it's almost like it's life. You're talking about life because things are coming and going constantly, and and I'm I'm I'm, I'm I see myself as super fortunate that I got onto the bandwagon of the Amada music family and they started pushing uh, uh, till the sky falls down and got, got featured on, on State of Trance and it, it got some really nice compilations and I think it goes for a lot of things that you need a lot of support and, and, and people who believe in you in, in life and, and who are willing to help you out. I think it goes for every career or every point in life that uh, you need some help. And I had that help by uh, my friends. I had that by a record company who believed in me. I had that by uh, fans who are still, uh, you know, standing out for me, you know, sticking by me uh, and, and, and in com consistently coming to the shows. And um, the we are part is where uh, we have a new part, a, a, a new point in the career of Dash Berlin where we want to go for the future, where we created a solid base and where we have a particularly new environment in the in the US territory where things are you know getting bigger bigger bolder better and um, we want to show that we're all ready for the future and and, and we're, we're willing to 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 show how cool and and how nice Dash Berlin shows are how how, how nice the music is and, and that people are you know able to enjoy that before this interview, uh, I did a little bit of research um, you know, behind your name, and I was surprised. I dug through Wiki, and I, I couldn't find a story behind you know, where the name Dash Berlin originated from. And, it's uh, not on Wiki? Yeah, it's not on Wikipedia. I, ser I searched through it, and I found one uh, small article, the more I dug, uh, that kind of explained it, but it would be cool to kind of have you talk uh, you know, in your own words. Well, it sparked on, on the Love Parade in, in Berlin itself, in, uh, in Germany in uh, 1999 and 2000. That's what I, uh, I, I was performing under different aliases at that time. And I witnessed one of the crowdest uh, um, Love Parade editions ever being held with one million people uh, uh, going through the city streets of uh, uh, Berlin, following the trucks with electronic music playing. There, you have to see, you had these DJ booths, uh, which are uh, on, 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 placed on, on, on the, um, on the trucks, people were dancing on the trucks, but also following the trucks through the through the city, and and it was just one big gathering of people who are liking electronic music, and and when I saw that whole spectacle going by, uh, I, I climbed into a lightning pole and I started making pictures, like a panoramic view. I still had those pictures, and and I knew from that moment on I wanted to do something with Dash Berlin, or with Berlin at, at that point. Uh, with, with, with Berlin as a name, uh, for my DJ name eventually. You talk about how you really believe in you know, help, helping others and having, help, having people help you lift yourself up. Absolutely. And it seems like you, know, you haven't let you know, all this fame and success get to you, and, even, and that's a testament even in your new album. Like you're including um, you know, other producers and artists that people yep. have never heard about, yep. and you're pretty much kind of doing you know, what, other, what your friends and you know, helpers did yeah. for you back then. Yeah, I, 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 I'm very aware of my uh, position as it is right now, and I always tell people I'm the guy next door. 
I, I, I you know, it, like you just said, it, for, for, for that matter, what, what if I didn't have friends, you know, who I could start making music with, or what, what would happen if I do it all by myself? And I think you cannot do it by yourself. You, you need to help each other out, and that's kind of a small reference to We Are as, 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 as an album title. And um, as Dash Berlin was taking off, we, we, we took the time to look around us and, and, and see, okay, how can we participate in, in you know, a world evolving around us? And, and we started contributing for, for orphanage, uh, orphanages in, in, in uh, orphans in Bali. We have 23 kids now. We, we started doing special project. We arranged a, a huge concert, especially for, for uh, a, a, a poor community in Mexico and stuff like that. I think that really uh, adds, adds spice to your life and, and adds, adds extra. The melodies and, and the idea behind Till the Sky Falls Down, which actually got everything kind of skyrocketed, uh, um, happened. Till the Sky Falls Down actually kind of got things rolling. A lot of people uh, started asking the question, who or what is Dash Berlin? And that, that, that's really the, the, the starting point for, for Dash Berlin. And, and when I knew, okay, I want to use Berlin in my DJ name, I had to find some kind of a combination because just DJ Berlin sounds weird. And, and although still a lot of people think I'm from Germany, I'm not. Uh, I, I wanted to make some kind of a cool combination. So I just started making combinations with the word of Berlin and uh, random combinations. And I punched in Dash Berlin and I got a blank Google page. So it sounded fresh to me and I thought it was a good star starting point to you know have a fresh name like that and uh, that's why I choose the name Dash Berlin. I, I, I read that and you, you explained in a last interview that um, you really got yourself into DJing when you were 14 you were at a birthday party and um, and then you saw you saw yourself really enamored by the performance of the DJ and if that moment didn't happen for you where do you think you would be today you know what do you think you'd be doing if that moment never happened? Um. I think every life has its course, uh, and you have to see that uh, the guys I, I, I work with, they, they are so experienced, and, and especially at the beginning, I was learning so much from them, and while that was going on, we just created a way of working uh, where we feel comfortable. Uh, they've been DJing for 20 years and they, they, they had their share of fame and they, they, they know their way around the business. And they know that I'm really enthusiastic when it comes to DJing. That's, that's, that's my, my core, that's, my, that's my, my true passion, that's where I originate from. So they were really open-minded about that and they were like, okay, well, we're doing this together, but if you want to go DJing, you know, go ahead and, and we can make the music together while traveling, you know, using Skype, using uh, uh, Dropbox, and we'll go back and forth over that. You can make melodies easy now with, with, with programs on the road. I mean, if you use a good laptop, you can go at it. And they were really, you know, open uh, in, in, in uh, working that way, and, and that's yeah, I, I, I see that as super unique, where people put their ego aside and with, where they put their, uh, 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 well, accomplishments, so to speak, aside. Uh, they, they've worked, they were worked on remixes for Janet Jackson, for jo Justin Timberlake, uh, Roy Xop, uh, Junkie XL, so really big names out of the industry. And uh, I think it shows a... Of, of great compassion, of great heart, that you are willing uh, to sacrifice something in order to help somebody out and doing and seeing that grow. And, and that whole thing kind of happened under the huge umbrella of friendship. And that's just amazing. I think uh, I would be jobless, actually. Uh, before Dash Berlin uh, started, uh, I, I lost my job and uh, um, at that time uh, I, I still had my friends you know backing me up we had great times but I was unsure what what life was going to bring me out of out of nowhere really uh, till the sky falls down uh, uh, got picked up by Amada Music as a record company and they, they brought that out 
uh, even though we were unsure to do something with it because we had that lying on the shelf and and one of our studio mates which is actually my studio neighbor Isaac he's a huge hard style pioneer he was like guys what you have here that's quite unique you should send that to the record company and that's what we did and that's how things really got started. So have there ever been times where um, you know, your, your friendship and partnership has been tested in a sense, like any yeah, disagreements? Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I mean we, we, we have our differences, but in the end, we also have the same goal. And, and that's enjoying what we do and, 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 and doing something we're good at. Dash Berlin, we, we all have a different background. And when you, when you combine it together, that's something which stands out to somebody who has to do all the production by himself or herself for that matter. And we can always uh, uh, throw stuff at each other like, okay, if, what if we do it like this? Or what if we bring down the tempo? Or what if we bring in this melody? And we're always able to listen to each other. And I think that makes Dash Berlin unique also in terms of looking at the future. We don't want to stand still and, and do the same thing we did uh, with The New Daylight, the first album. We don't want to do uh, uh, the same types of approach like we did with Music Is Life. We want to move forward. And I think that's also one of the things dance music stands for. It is really fast. It is really ongoing. But that's also what you know keeps you really sharp uh, as a producer, as a DJ, you want to stay on top. That's that's a drive you you need to have to you know keep going. If you're standing still, you're looking backward. It's it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna work. A couple more questions for you. Um, uh, for us, uh, we do have like a younger audience, and you know they're aspiring to reach some sort of success. I mean, do you have like any advice or words of wisdom that you personally live by and that you could share? I th I think um, it, it's really really important to uh, believe in yourself and to find what your true passion is and live up to that but not in a way it doesn't become pathetic really you can dream of stuff but I think the time is always right for certain steps in your life so when you know you want to reach a goal I think everybody is able to make it but you also uh, keep should keep in mind that some things need time and um, with internet, with, uh, with, with things are really based on individuality right now and, and, and on speed, like we talked about, everything is going real fast. Give things some time to breathe. Give, 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 give life some time, you know? And um, I'm, I'm, I'm certain that if you really, again, wanna, wanna reach something in your life, you, you can reach that, but there's, there's a right time for everything. Like I mentioned before, you, you, you definitely need people who help you on the way, and you should be open for that. And if you're just like, like narrow-minded, and I'm just, I'm wanna, I wanna reach my goal, it's me, it's me, I wanna reach my goal, That's, I, I think it's gonna make it more even difficult for people to reach it than be open-minded and to look at things in a bigger perspective, but also towards people and, 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 and uh, who are willing to help you. So if, if you're open for that, you can make big steps in life. That's kind of a testament to you of your new album as well. I mean, since I think 2011, you've kind of uh, you've changed your sound. I mean, you said yourself, uh, your new album is pretty much Dash Berlin 2.0. Yeah, yeah. And that's the way I like to call it. And yeah, it's like, and it kind of shows like the risk taking. It shows that you know you need to take different directions to see to to, yeah. to keep. Going. It's a, it's also a challenge for for the people listening to Dash Berlin in 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 what what you know what are their musical tastes? What are, what are they willing to listen to? And and what kind of feedback do we uh, you know get on that? And and how can we maybe feed off of that? And you know take it. And at a somewhere unique road, maybe I have no idea, but that's that's the whole uh, cool thing of, of of dance music. It's it's a consistent, moving, living, breathing organism, <laughs> and you just want to keep up. And uh, what types of uh, music? Do what types of artists do you listen to uh, that are not in the EDM space? Ooh, I mean, uh, like a lot, a lot. I, I I should actually I should my uh, get my iPhone, but I, I, like I yeah. <laughs> how well? Yeah, uh, why not? It's here. Yeah. Let's just, for the fun of it, let's yeah. just run through it and see what happens. Obviously, there's a lot of EDM in there. Right, of course. Sade. Ever heard of that? Uh, yeah. 
Smooth operator. I mean, that's definitely not EDM. Mm -hmm. um, Alicia Keys. Um, let's just browse through this. Um, Paper Airplanes is an amazing band. Uh, the lead uh, uh, vocalist is uh, uh, Sarah Howells. I worked with her before on Go It Alone, on um, on, a, on on a remix as well, and she's amazing. Uh, that's great music. Paper Airplanes is it's it's fantastic. Um, Let's see what, what 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 Rick Ross. He's there. <laughs> uh, Rigby, Rihanna, and and this is all albums, right? Um, Tribe Called Quest, old school stuff. Um, Any jazz Whitney there? Houston, even. <laughs> um, let's see what we got. Cara Emerald, fantastic uh, vocalist from the Netherlands. It's amazing. Um, Coldplay, obviously, big fan. So there's so much. Uh, I'm 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 a quite of an all-round music lover when it comes to that. Right. Uh, I I like a lot of EDM stuff. Uh, I have an ear for EDM stuff, but I also like to you know uh, listen and to look beyond the boundaries of uh, of, of dance music. Um, my last question to you is: um, we talked a lot about your album already, but you know, for you know, is there anything else that you would like to share with your fans or any other shows that you'd like to promote? Um, well, I, I like to be in contact with everybody on social media. So I have my own platform. It's called dashberlinworld.com. And um, that's, that's like a platform where I share everything Dash Berlin, but also a lot of stuff which is not Dash Berlin. So I think it's uh, cool for a lot of people to uh, take a look over there. And uh, I just like to be in contact as much as I can on, over social media, whether it's, a, it's a Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. That's, that's always really cool to me that... No matter where I am at, I am at. There's always somebody who's awake and who's willing to, you know, speak their minds or you know to talk to you or to share something uh, about what you're doing or have been doing. And um, I'm I'm very happy and fortunate that I'm in the position to be a, a top ten DJ for three years in a row now. And I'm 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 very uh, happy with the support I've been been getting all over the world and, and, and that things are going so so well so far. And I just want to thank everybody for believing in Dash Berlin and, and listening to the music of Dash Berlin and, and just enjoying like you like you should, just uh, uncompromising, enjoying music, enjoy life. And uh, when is uh, your album dropping, your new album? It's going to be at the end of August and uh, note to mind, it's part one. So, that's the big thing. When is part two? Oh. It's going to be this year. So, I'm already working on new material for part two. And I hope to speak to you about it next time I'm here. I'm Dash Berlin and you're watching Next Shark TV.